The creature that did this? I sense Kolar's touch upon it. Prove you can hunt, little Echo. Track this beast. Before he became a reaver, Kolar bound himself to the mightiest beast. Be cautious. of the Ancient One, Kolar's masterpiece. A deadly foe, but his blood shakes the world. sense and follow where it leads you.
Polar hides within these shadows. Let me guide you as you craft your shard. Then you must face the master and his beasts. must be done. Ah, Kola, the Beastmaster. Once he honored the ancients, but I can smell the stench of the gloom even in his blood. It is good that you ended his life, and now we will use what's left. Reaver, though he may be, Otrok is still king. He is bound by the old laws. As such, he must face a rightful challenger in the Ring of Blood. It is how the woodwind choose their king. Only the strongest can wear the petrified crown. Should any doubt the king's strength, they can demand proof in the ring of blood. Aren't you? I've woven the essence of the storm twins and marrow into your tapestry, little Echo. And now I'll add a thread of Kolar. You are everything you've killed. You're river enough. Ready yourself. The Beastmaster was a mighty foe, but Autorok is greater still. You will need strength, skill, your finest armaments. I can only hope it will be enough. Return to the Orchard and seek 
the Ring of Blood. Remember, you must defeat both Marrow and the King. If one survives, the other will rise again. Now go, return to us a victor, or not at all. in a pit surrounded by high wooden walls. Search within the woods. The essence of my fallen reavers bound to your form. The emblem in your hands. <laughs> you would challenge me? How amusing. This is Greymorn's doing, I'm sure. The old laws have limits. That totem proves your worth to challenge a foe of equal strength. There may have been a time when Kolar was my equal. But now, nothing and no one can match me!
feel like I've seen this before. How many are there? Good one. Prepare for battle. <laughs> Not yet. I want you to see what I make of your world before you whimper and die. Soon, your beacon will be mine. My hollow children will walk the streets of your city. Then, I will grant you death. I will answer your challenge with a champion of my own. 
Meet one of my new children. See the face of the world as it will be. He just dismissed Kolar's emblem? Impossible. And that creature returned to Deep World Echo now. of the man I knew left in that thing. But it is the creature you fought that truly sickens me. What we have seen here, it must be stopped. I am bound to powers far older than your architects. I serve the ancient forces of soil and soul, the wind and the wild wood. Once, Autorok followed this same path. There's nothing of the woodwind in him, but neither is he a creature of your gloom. He's something vile and new, a hunger hollowing out the world and leaving a hideous mockery in its place. It was one of the spirits that once guided my people, gentle and kind. It must have been tortured, twisted, and bound to wood. You cannot save these hollow ones. They will only find peace in oblivion. Autorok is in the heart of the woods, our most sacred grove. It is lost within the gloom, shielded by wards I cannot pierce. But perhaps the children of the heart can find it. The most ancient spirits that roam this land. I had you try to contact one when you first came to the Frost March. You have grown closer to the spirits since then. Now you may succeed. You can sense the spirits. Go into the Frost March and seek the spirit Dusklight. She is quick and careful. Surely she has survived.
Did you hear something? left of her is fear. We need a stronger spirit. Seek or frost. Or frost. I can feel his pain and despair. No! We're too late! Or frost help generations of my people. Return to me, Echo. There is still hope.
conscience. Heed my... I understand now. The reason the Reavers have been hunting and torturing your people so slowly and for so long. Their fear and pain weakened the spirits, allowing the Reavers to transform them. But some still remain. Evergreen showed us a vision of the strongest that survives, summer rising. And they showed me the peace we were missing, what I lost long ago, hope. Perform the ritual you did before, empower the threshold stone. But this time, hold hope in your heart and envision the rising sun. I plea, why do you remain silent? So, the darkness came before your gloom fell, came from below, from the shadows beneath Baldum. I do not truly understand that cursed place, but there is one who might. I thought it strange your people would send one so young into this place, but even in this brief time, I have felt her mind and her determination. You must speak with the one called Avala. Again? A Wayfinder! How delightful! Have you spent much time in the Shrouded Woods? The natural life here has mutated in such a curious way. I'd love to take a sample of your blood, if you don't mind. Sweet vindication! I pulled some records from the Archives detailing the history of the region. Corbin argued it was a frivolous use of the Archives' resources, but <laughs> I had a feeling... How versed are you with basic arcane theory? Oh, I'll just run through it. All magic manipulates fundamental elements. Order and chaos, radiant and shadow. Twelve we know of so far. The gloom is an overwhelming force of chaos and shadow. It consumes, corrupts and transforms. Gloom-touched creatures channel these elements. The Reavers, however. The Reavers are infused with the gloom, with shadow and chaos. But there's a third element at work. Flora. That's the basic power of growth, of nature. But here's the really interesting part. They're drawing that flora energy from an outside source, and the gloom they're consuming flows back through it. It's as if they're feeding something. Maybe. I think the heart of the woods is the source of their power, and they're channeling the gloom energy back into it. To the Reaver King? to control the heart? I don't know yet. Now, if I recall, this heart of the woods was important to the Woodwind people. It was their first lost zone, and I believe it was where the gloom first broke through to the Frost March. But there is an arcane conduit, a channel of elemental energy operating on an etheric level. If we can isolate it, we might be able to find a connection to the heart of the woods. No, 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 no. I need you to dig deeper. Metaphysically speaking, I need you to use shadow and flora imbuements via your dagger to enter an echo of Baldum attuned to those powers. If I'm right, you should find some sort of conduit. It might look like a gloom tear or breach. 
I imagine you'll also find mushrooms. Lots and lots of mushrooms. So, imbue your dagger, enter Baldoom, and do try to stay alive. We'll see what you find. Come to help me with my research?